It's day four of the five day national mourning period for the late President Kim Yong sam and the drizzling rain and cold temperatures have not held back thousands of people from paying their last respects. As our Park Ji-won reports, it's not just Koreans who feel a great sense of loss. Tens of thousands of mourners continue to visit Seoul National University Hospital, paying their respects to the now deceased former leader Kim Young Sam. In the past four days, over 25,000 people have visited the hospital, and nearly 100,000 have paid their respects at various altars nationwide. Former President Chun Doo Hwan was one of those he paid his respects on Wednesday. A pro democracy activist, Kim was put under house arrest for about two years during Chun's grip on power in early 1980s. France's ambassador to Korea, Fabien Penon, also visited, leaving a note saying that a heroic fighter for democracy and a friend of France has been lost. National Assembly Speaker Chung Lee Hwa plans to pay his respects once he arrives back in Korea from Germany. In China, at an altar in the Korean embassy, China's Vice Foreign Minister Liu Jiamin paid his respects on behalf of the Chinese government. Over in Japan, former Prime Ministers Tomichi Murayama and Moihiro Hosokawa today visited the Korean embassy in Tokyo, offering their condolences and remembering the late president. Meanwhile, it is unclear that because of health concerns, if President Park Geun-hye will attend a state funeral that begins Thursday at the National Assembly. Park Ji-won, Arirang News.